Greetings Hobbies, this is our Sands of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how to put geometry nodes into your asset browser. So this video follows on a previous one where we're having a look at how to make a custom geometry node. So if I click on this, you've got all the geometry nodes inside it, which make up this custom one that is going to give the object size. And we were talking about how to bring this in so you've effectively saved it. And we did that using an app called Node Shell. And I did say that I wasn't particularly sure if you could do this as an asset for your asset browser. Now, if you haven't used the Blender asset browser before, it's really helpful. It's basically a save file of custom things that you can quickly bring in to another file. And if you want to know more about that there's a link in the top right hand corner in the description where I go through some of the basics of that and how to use it. Now thankfully in that other video Jeffrey Spinner came in and said no you can definitely save this as something in your asset browser but there's a few tricks to it so all credit to this goes to Jeffrey really really appreciate his input there but there's a few tricks to this so let's go through it. So firstly this is on a file where I've got all my assets I keep my assets saved in one place just because it makes it work better for when I want to bring it into other files again that's covered in the video on the asset browser now the first thing is normally we would mark something like an object as an asset and you just do that by right clicking on it and then going to mark as an asset but we don't want to do that here because if we do that here in the object outliner we're not going to save this node we're going to save the whole object and that's not what we want we want to just bring in this node so what you have to do is come up here to your object outliner you can see we've got all of my objects that are in this file here and they're all assets. You can see that because of this symbol that looks like books in a library. But instead of seeing the scene collections, we need to come up here and change that so that we see the Blender file. And now that's gonna give us lots of options. It'll probably appear like this. And importantly, we want to come to node groups. Now to do this, you already have to have named this as node group. You do that here, that's covered in the previous video. And you can see we've got our node groups, including object size. And from here, you can right click and mark just the node group as an asset, which is what we want. Now we then want to make sure this is clear in our asset browser. So I'm just gonna go to the top window here until we get to this targeting reticule type thing, drag that out. And we've just got another screen here, but if I just drag it out a bit further so we can see this, I'm gonna change this to my asset browser. Now here's where we lay everything out. I'm just gonna drag this down because we don't need the geometry nodes at this point. And I've got this broken up into individual groups, but at the moment, so we've got our base cutters and things for cables and stuff like that. But at the moment I've got everything and I can't see my object size node. So how do I organize this and how do I even get to this? Now, this was what I had as a default, don't know if that's changed in any way but in case it has this is how you get to see this what you need to do is come to your filter and for some reason no trees seems to be off at least it was for me click that and then you'll be able to see your node group it doesn't have a picture like the other ones of your object size and you could drag that wherever you want so for example i want this to be in my geonodes subgroup and within that i've got one for node groups so i'm just going to drag that into there and then we need to make sure that we've saved this. So file and save, so that it's saved your asset browser library and everything's in the right place. So now if I come to a new file and drag this up here and click new, I can start fiddling around with my geometry. And if I want to get that asset browser up again, drag it out, change this to asset browser. And then I need to change from current file to use a library. And then I've got everything here. I've got it in all so I can see object size. And all I do is just drag that in and there's my node. So to me, this probably seems like one of the best ways of doing it because we can subgroup everything. So it makes everything really easy to do. So you can do this with the asset browser. So that is just another option that we've got, depending on what you want to do and how you want to keep everything filed together for easy future use. So once again, thank you, Jeffrey. You're awesome. Always appreciate your comments, man. Thank you for your contributions to the channel. As always, if you find this useful, I'd really appreciate giving the video a like so it spreads around more. And if you're not subscribed already, then why not? Subscribe to the channel for more great content. And if you want to see anything else on Geometry Nodes, there's a playlist in the top right hand corner and it's going to be in the description as well. So you can check that out if you're interested in some more content we've done on Geometry Nodes. Have a great day, guys.